Thanks, Chloe. I'm joined here with Clean the Artist and special guest Gary Becker, who is the class of 1986. Gary, what is your connection to Clean? So it was, uh, it all started with a chance meeting at breakfast at the uh, original Pancake House here in town. Uh, it's a place that kind of has a funny connection a story with my now wife back when we were students here. We had our youngest son, Gannon, who is a uh, freshman living in uh, Soren. So we were out for breakfast and waiting in line, as many do there, and um, clean at some of his pictures up on the wall. So we were admiring some of the paintings. I took a picture of one. His card was on the wall. I took a picture of it. I figured, oh. So the next day, I sent him a text and say, how does one go about acquiring one of these? And I think within 60 seconds, I had his whole gallery on my phone. And then my phone rang, and it's clean. And we had a wonderful conversation, which our, our first one, I think it went over an hour for sure. And it just made a really interesting connection, a rare connection. Amazing. And what do you find to be most admirable about Clean? So when you talk to him, and you, know, you can look at his work, but really him as a person, I mean, you see somebody, he's, he's just filled with strength and gratitude. Um, he... You know, we all as people um, sometimes meet adversity, and he's somebody is a great example of somebody who powered through the adversity and probably came out the other end better than, than he was to begin with. Um, and this painting, ironically, yesterday was Clean's one-year anniversary painting. So it was a gift that he discovered through a real struggle, and uh, I guess it just shows that you never know when something's, you know, your greatest gift is going to show up in your life. Wow, that is so inspiring. Thank you so much. Tune in at the 11 o'clock hour to see the final unveiling of Clean's painting. Now let's kick it over to Terry McFadden. And then...